Welcome to this video on upgrading the Contax G1 camera. This video is about updating the lens data on the Silver Label G1. Upgrading the lens data in the camera is undertaken entirely at your own risk and I will not be held responsible for any damage to any cameras as a result of trying to upgrade the lens data. The camera repair manual explicitly warns against upgrading the lens data in the camera. If attempting this procedure, I would suggest Great care is taken to ensure that all of the data entered is correct before saving it to the EEPROM. The lens data is stored in section 2 of the EEPROM on the camera. The data in the EEPROM is edited by entering manual adjustment mode on the camera. Section 2 is accessed by setting the ABC mode lever to plus or minus 0.5 stops once the camera is in manual adjustment mode. Manual adjustment mode is entered by powering on the camera and making sure that is not in self timer mode. Then opening the film back and leaving it open. Now press the film rewind button on the bottom of the camera and within a couple of seconds while still keeping the film rewind button pressed, press the shutter release for more than one second with the film back still open. The display on the LCD panel on the top should change to have all of the symbols displayed as shown. The camera is now in manual adjustment mode. If the camera does not enter manual adjustment mode, repeat the procedure until it does, being careful to ensure the order in which the steps are performed and taking care with the timing of the steps. The camera will exit manual adjustment mode if the film back is closed or the camera is powered off. Mode 2 of manual adjustment mode is set by setting the ABC mode lever to plus or minus 0.5. The mode 3 entries consist of a table of entries containing the lens data along with some unused entries for a total of 11 entries. The index of the selected entry is displayed in the frame counter window. If the frame counter window on the camera is broken, you will have to count up the entries from index 1, which is always selected when the camera is put into manual adjustment mode, and mode 2 selected by setting the ABC lever to plus or minus 0.5. The drive button is used to increase the value and the ISO button is used to decrease the value in manual adjustment mode. The value being increased or decreased depends on the editing mode you're in, in manual adjustment mode. The operation of the drive and ISO buttons remain consistent across the modes. Changing mode simply changes what data gets modified by the buttons. When the camera is initially put into mode 2, it is in table entry selection mode in which the buttons change the index into the table of lens data that is being displayed ready for editing. The index into the table of lens data entries can be adjusted using the drive and ISO buttons. Changing the power switch to AEL changes the mode into edit the data entry mode. In this mode the rightmost entry of the bottom line of the LCD showing the value of the lens data entry flashes to indicate that can be changed using the buttons. The value of the index into the lens data entry is displayed at the left of the bottom line of the LCD display. The buttons can be used to increment or decrement the flashing data value. Switching the power switch back to the on position switches the camera back into index entry selection mode. In this mode, the index of the data value in the table entry for the lens data to be changed can be selected using the buttons. This can then be edited by switching the power switch back into AEL and then edited using the buttons. The camera can be switched back into table entry selection mode at any time by switching the ABC mode dial back to plus or minus zero and then switching it back to plus or minus 0.5. Once the individual data values have been changed, the data index value of zero is selected and the shutter release is pressed to save the data entry values for the given entry in the table back to the EEPROM. The data values are two digit hexadecimal numbers, base 16, 0 to 255 in base 10. The maximum value is FF and the minimum value is 0. Decrementing 0 will give FF and incrementing FF will give 0. This can be useful to save time changing values that are quite a way apart, as you can take the shortest way round to the new value. 
It is important to recognise the correct hexadecimal digits as 6 and B can look quite similar on the LCD. The 11 entries in the lens data table are used as follows. Entry 1 is unused. Entry 2 is a 16mm f8. Entry 3 is a 21mm f2.8, which is empty in the silver label. Entry 4 is unused. Entry 5 is a 28mm f2.8. Entry 6 is the 35mm f2, which is also unused in the silver label. Entry 7 is the 45mm f2. Entry 8 is unused. Entry 9 is the 90mm f2.8. Entry 10 is the Contact Shishika adapter. And entry 11 is a history bank. This bank is shorter and should not be edited. I have added some pictures of the lens data entries to be used in the upgrade of the G1. Each picture has the table entry number and indexes and data values for a specific lens. I would suggest going through each of the entries that are used in the EEPROM and checking that all the lens data entries match the data supplied in the video screens, as it would appear that the upgraded context G1s had the data for some of the already supported lenses changed as part of the upgrade. You will need to add the data for the 21mm and 35mm lenses. I would suggest editing a single table entry and then saving it as if the battery goes flat, you will lose all of your edits.